My friends, welcome to your uh, Ivy Cottage instructional video. Today we're going to be building the Ivy Cottage. I have coloured it and here it is ready to go. You need to colour in yours as per your choice of colour. There are book sections of the book, Christmas Tiny Homes, ready for you to plan out your colour. I suggest you plan out your village and have a colour scheme maybe for the whole village. I've chosen a nice red terracotta for a Christmas terracotta for all of my house houses so that when I put them together under the Christmas tree they look spectacular. You will need tools, you'll need a knife, you'll need a click pencil, you'll need a straight edge or a ruler and you'll need some glue. I use glue tape because I find it's neat and easy and a little bit repositionable but if you've got other glue that you prefer you can use that. I'd be careful if you're using water-based glues because that may warp the paper. But go with your heart. The first thing you have to do as in all of these models is to cut out all your different parts. With the Ivy Cottage, as with most of the cottages, this is the easy part because there are only really three parts. There's the roof and there's the chimney and then there's the main body. So I'm going to start by cutting out my roof carefully. Now, I think you remember when you're cutting out your roof is you don't want to put your ruler on the outside and cut in because if you slip, you'll slip over your beautifully coloured work and then they'll be weeping. People will weep. They'll be crying, heartbreak. So put your ruler over your work. And then if you slip, you slip out into the paper and that's not a problem. So there's my roof cut out. Now, this is a glue tab that I've got on the roof ready to accept the chimney. And there is a cross you'll see in the middle of that. I just need you to cut that cross, which will give us four little tabs ready to glue the chimney on. Okay, I'll put that aside and keep cutting. Let's cut the chimney. Oh, I can't wait to see how everyone colours all of these in. It's a different thing. It's a, um, not my normal colouring book. I've taken it into the third dimension, guys. I'm hoping that it's uh, something that you all enjoyed. Certainly had a lot of fun building these guys. I have dropped in some fun little characters and scenes on each building to try and make it a journey of discovery as you colour. through this chimney. Oh. It's important to get these cut out accurately because the more accurate you can cut them out, the, the easier it's going to be to get them to line up when you assemble them. Oh. Having said that, I'm going to make a horrible diagonal cut into my chimney. There you go. There's my chimney. Put that aside for later and move on to the main body. You will notice on these illustrations that there are dotted lines which need to be folded, and then there are this glue pattern. I've got to look at here. The glue pattern is where the glue is going to go. It's important that when you're colouring, you don't go over onto those glue panels with your colour medium. Some mediums will cause the glues to not stick correctly. So 
So just be careful with that. And leave the paper free of colouring medium on those glue tabs. Now, there are so many different ways you can approach the colouring and what you want to have happen with your tiny village. For example, do you leave your windows in and colour them and make the curtains work? Or do you decide that you're going to cut out all of your windows and leave them see-through? Which will mean that you can maybe put in a battery operated tea light. I wouldn't use a flame because, hey, it's paper. But a battery operated tea light into your building, which will look very sweet. The other thing you need to work out is whether you want to have an open door or a closed door. If you want an open door, now is the time to cut out your open door. I shall cut out my open door. It's important that you only cut out three sides. This is uh, you need to leave one side attached so that the door can swing on its hinges. I'm going to cut this one out. Because it's got a curve and hey, let's give ourselves a challenge. I'm leaving the, the architrave and I'm making sure that I don't cut where I need the door to be attached. Cool. Well, they're my three parts. And that's step number one. Step number two, you will need your ruler and a click pencil. I use a click pencil to score all of my fold lines before I fold them so that they fold in the correct place. Now I use it with the lead retracted. I know there are some scoring tools that you can use. Let's just run it along each fold. Uh, hard enough that you can give your paper, you know, your paper will fold, but not so hard that you rip the paper or destroy all of your hard work when you've been colouring. Because once again, they'll be weeping. And you know, we really, it's Christmas, we don't need to be weeping. Don't forget these little fold lines that are sort of hidden in the glue tab. Okay, let's do these four tabs all at the same time. Oh. Don't forget your door. Give yourself a fold there. Okay, there are all our scores made. Now we can quickly go through and carefully, gently, just fold all of our little parts into place. That's my door. If you have opened your door, you may decide to colour the back of your door at this point before you've assembled it because after it's assembled colouring becomes something you don't really want to do. Okay. Fold all of your flabs, flat tabs, not flabs, tabs into place. That's me. Cottage. I called it Ivy Cottage because cottage number two didn't sound very romantic or Christmassy. This had Ivy up the sides, so if we go, okay. Once you've folded everything and it's all you get to see, then hey, look, it's all done in your little cottage. I then flatten it all out, ready 
the glue and push it aside so I'm safe. And I'll move on to my next item to fold. Get all your bits ready. And these fold marks. See, this is our roof. And there are tabs of ready for our chimney. Fold those into place. Okay, let's again put that aside and now we get to work on our chimney. Once again, we've scored it. Now we should be able to easily fold all of our tabs. And I'll try to do that on camera for you. Into place. Because what we're trying to build is this sweet little chimney. I'm quite fond of my little chimneys. All right, we've folded. Everything's ready to go. Now we need to apply the glue. Before we apply the glue, we will need to find a sheet of white paper. All right, let's start with the smallest part. Let's start with our chimney. Now I use these glue tapes because it's easy to put the glue where you want it. It doesn't warp the paper like some water-based glues will. Yeah, you simply apply the glue to the glue tabs and it will remain sticky until you're ready to place it. The first thing you want to do is to line the walls up. Now it's important to get this in the right place. Sometimes just laying it flat and aligning it like that is the easiest way to do that. Once it's in place, you can squeeze it down and then open it out. Push down your first tab. And fold over each consecutive tab. You may need to get your pencil up there to give you something to push against without sticking your finger to it. And then finally, once you've got it into shape, you can put the lid on your chimney, so to speak. There it is. A little chimney ready to go. The next thing you want to do is to find your roof. Be aware of the little glue pit bits that are left on your sheet. Just get your glue onto these four little glue tabs. Try not to get it on your roof like I just did. And then I like to put my chimney on now before I build my house because it's easier to do as you can get your finger in there. And that should perfectly align with your chimney. Get the two sides on first. And to get, unless you've got thinner fingers than mine, you might need to use a tool to just gently burnish. Just bumping the camera there. There it is, the chimney on a roof, ready to go. I'll put that somewhere safe while I glue up the main body. of my ivy cottage. Here it goes. Let's start with the bottom tabs. Now you'll note the four little indicated places where glue needs to be applied. Probably not a good idea to get glue outside of those areas because then they'll be stuck glue bits to the bottom of your house which will cause it to stick wherever you put it. Maybe you want that. So simply a task of 
applying your glue tape to all the tabs. As so. Now, as with the chimney, the best place to start when you want to glue this together is to leave your top and bottom flaps out of the way and just to get your line wall aligned, two side walls aligned. There are instructions with illustrations on how to do this in the back of the Christmas Tiny Homes coloring book if you need to get a refresher on what's going on or you can't get your videos watched. There it is. I start to see our little Ivy Cottage coming into focus. Next thing I would like to do is to get these unglued tabs out of the way and fold in our glued panels. Now these are simply just panels I've created to give the floor a rigidity. We just want to get those in place and then pinch them. Get this in place and then pinch it. If you do cut out the door, you'll notice that you do have some... You need to concentrate a little bit more on that panel because this becomes a bit floppy. There it is. Hey! Who lives in your ivy cottage? Roof panels are nice and simple. You just fold the top top flap over and press it into place. Try not to glue yourself to, to the building. Run in, in a similar way you do the other side. This gives the roof somewhere to sit and to be glued onto so that it can attach nicely to your building. There you go. Now, Ivy Cottage is ready to go. All we need to do is to apply our roof. Now, remember that the chimney is on the roof, so you don't want your chimney at your front door, you want your chimney maybe at your back door. So it's good practice to make sure you know where you're going before you go there, rather than glue your chimney over your front door and then go, oh, that doesn't work. Well, maybe it does for you, maybe you want it there. If you do, put it there. This is your building, gosh. Now you want to make sure you give yourself an eave. I find it it's a bit easier to, especially on the Ivy Cottage because it's got longer gables. Maybe get that one side aligned first and gently put that into place. There is a little bit of give in this glue. And flip it over and just gently position that once you're happy with that. Caress those panels into place. You don't want to use the back of your knife. And there you have it. The Ivy Cottage with an open door. Hello. Well, thanks for joining me for this instruction video and I shall see you on the next one. Bye for now.